you see, the fact is that the Pakistani security establishment is now suspecting very strongly that Davis is the head of a much larger snake. The, the equipment and the photographs and the evidence that has come out from Davis so far almost confirm his links with the Tehreek Taliban Pakistan terrorism inside in Pakistan, the attacks on ISI and security establishment in the armed forces, as well as the drone attacks. So, with this kind of evidence, the issue is not just of the assassination of those two boys on the streets of Lahore, but it is of identifying the much larger network of CIA espionage and sabotage inside Pakistan. So that is why we find every day Pakistan security establishment typing the cordon around Davis. The Americans, the access which the Americans had to him has now been restricted. Cameras have been installed in his cell. Security cordon has been increased. And there are even suspicions that even CIA might try to assassinate him just to keep him silent. Because there's much more to the incident than what meets the eye. You see, the backup vehicle which had come to rescue Davis had not come to rescue Davis, it had come to rescue a much larger target sitting in the vehicle next to him. And that vehicle, the rescue vehicle which had come had actually smashed that person, had rescued and extricated that person and gone in the other direction while Davis tried to flee in the other, another direction but was caught by the people. So, there is... There was, and the panic which is in the American government, the panic which is in the U.S. administration, right at the topmost level, where President Obama had to step in, President John, Senator John Kerry had to come to Pakistan, these signs of absolute panic clearly suggest that Davis has some very critical information which would jeopardize U.S. operations in Pakistan and Afghanistan. And this is what Pakistan security establishment is very keen to know. In the end, they might hand over Davis back to the, to the Americans, but before that, he must be quizzed, he must be squeezed, all the information that can come out from him, because there is also a suspicion that Davis may not, because everybody knows that's not his real name. So, so identifying him, who actually is he? What is his real name? What is his real nationality? Is he working for the Americans or is he working for the Israelis? Or is he a Mossad operator or is he a CIA operator? So these kind of critical questions need to be answered and definitely the revelations that are coming out from him are going to um, make it extremely difficult for the United States government to have him any, any time in the near future. The pressure is also coming on the Pakistan government to hand over Davis to the Americans. But the issue of Davis now is almost out of the hands of the Pakistani government but it's more into the hands of the army and the security establishment. So this is where the case stands now. Americans are in sick mess. They are totally confused and hyper panic situation. And the Pakistani security establishment is firm. They're putting the feet down. They're holding tight. And they are creating a security cordon around Davis until till the time they get all the required information from him. So this is where the situation stands today.